Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jay Poozer Animations bringing you another video review. This time, this is Transformers Beast Hunters Voyager Class Ultra Magnus. A figure that I've been highly anticipating since I ever saw uh, Transformers Beast Hunters Episode 1. That is the episode that set the mark. Uh, that, that was the uh, season, a very short, I think it was 13 episodes. That really changed Transformers. It really, really did. Um, and here's Magnus in his show accurate vehicle mode. Notice I have his junk on the back. We'll get to that in a second. Let me take this off. And it's very easy to get on and off, but not really. Get off get off get off excuse me there we go and it's just falling apart it's these three pegs and these three holes it just tabs in and just push these back so because everything just steps it away we'll get to uh magnus in a second i just want to show off a few things uh well, no, we'll do all that later. But, for the vehicle mode, it's very nice and very show accurate. Um, I like how they made Magnus similar to Optimus. Um, Optimus's design, which is, I believe that's how they did it in G1. He had the same uh, structure, you know, same, same structure, just different parts, obviously, with the uh, the chest and the uh, shoulder pads, but everything else is basically the same. So, um, all around, I did some custom work on him too. Yes, him too. Silver, red, silver, and lights. Silver lights. Uh, shoulder pads are painted. Uh, there's more detail in robot mode. Robot crap. Head syndrome. There it is. So let's get this tra guy transformed. The reason I'm transforming him like this is because this is how I'm going to try and do it when I make a stop motion for him. <coughs> Excuse me. Whenever my um, software decides it wants to cooperate with me, then we can make a barter and make a video again. So, you know, it is what it is. Technology, you know. Can't always be reliable. Head up. Slide the whole thing forward. Collapse and tab. The arms out the way. Shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. Turn that down. Put the foot up. It's on a ball joint. We can get some pretty dynamic poses. Excuse me, I just took a sip of water. <sighs> Gotta keep my voice fresh. Fresh voice. Um, close up. Tab. Rotate. Rotate. I think his arm is coming off. No, it's not. And I like this part, you just swivel and push down. Swivel, push down. Angle everything the way you want it. And here's Ultra Magnus in his robot mode. I like it a lot. I really like it. Like it, like it, like it, like it, like it. I'm really digging this robot mode. I'm really digging this figure. It's just an awesome, awesome figure. Um, it's very accurate. Uh, I believe this is a retool of the, um, what do you call that thing? The R.I.D. Optimus, the R.I.D. Voyager Optimus. Uh, I see retool because there are certain parts that are the same, certain parts that are different. Shoulder pads are different, arms are different, chest is different. 
legs might be a little different and heads different and the paint job is different too essentially it's the same mold basically because the transformation is the same it's just they change a, a few parts so um yeah uh all in all it's a very show accurate figure push him from the back now originally I wasn't sure what to, I should do with the legs because there aren't many shots where you can see the inside of his leg or Optimus's leg since they're both essentially the same thing. So I pondered it a bit, pondered it, pondered it some more, and uh, eventually I just decided to paint it black. You know, it, it is what it is. And now on the inside of his leg leg up for me. I just painted all that detail in there. It's really, really nice detail throughout the entire figure. I really do like that. All the way throughout, even in his chest and torso. Excuse me. I might have my allergies acting up again. I hate the pollen. Oh gosh. So all, all in all, I give this guy an 8. An 8 out of 10. Why an 8? Well, this is a bit much. A bit. It's manageable, you know. And another thing about this guy. Let's start bringing him in his accessories. Now, he's got these missile pods, which I love. Because you can... Option A, you can tab them on the sides. And you can go all G1, because I believe in G1, he had missile pods that he just walked around with, you know. Pow, 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 pow. Also, option B is you can angle this down. Plug this in. Um, plug this in like this. And it's a friction missile, so when you press it, it's going to fire. Like that. And how it works is, is it's like on the inside, I'm not sure if you can see that at all, but there's these two pieces of plastic like this. So these pieces of plastic, they're like real stiff and they're not supposed to move. So when you put the missile in, it's supposed to be like this kind of. It collapses on top of this part right here. And when you push it out, it kind of, you know. Because the plastic's like, no, we don't want to move. And you're like, come on, you know. So, it's very nice. Not sure if you can hear that, but I've got people screaming in the other room. Not screaming, they're just like, talking over each other. Whatever. Another thing is his jetpack, which is very nice. Very nice jetpack. Surprisingly, I believe this has more detail than... Optimus is Voyager. Now, Optimus is the one that used the jetpack in Beast Hunter, so... Okay. Um, how do you install this? Um, notch here, notch, notch, notch. Uh, there's a spot here, 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 and there. You want to angle this up the back... Up, uh, let me push these out the way. Angle this upside the back of his head and push it all the way down from the base. Like that. It's going to snap. Then you tab everything else in the back, and there's his jetpack. Now, I really like the jetpack look because they basically did to him what they couldn't do to Smokescreen. And Smokescreen having his own original mod. Let me bring in Smokescreen. Because I believe, with the exception of Predaking, that the Beast Hunters line included. These two, having their own original figures. Now, the reason I say original, I'm not saying anything about the uh, R.I.D. Ultra Magnus. It looks very cool. I don't own it. It looks cool. I like the whole flat nose truck, and then it's like a, what do you call that thing? Uh, uh, tow truck, kind of? Not really, but it's got, it's got, it's like, almost like a fire truck. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. It's big, 
flat nose truck is like really big really hefty and it transforms he's got the spikes on the shoulders and everything i really like that but i'm saying original because it's show accurate that's very show accurate that is also very show accurate so you know it is what it is but um most of the beast hunters figures i believe are good for customs like bum bum bum, bum elite one and Alita One, I made a video for her. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out on my channel. Uh, mainly, I believe the Beast Hunters figures are good for customs. Only Beast Hunters figure that I have that is one of the main line is Soundwave. Uh, Beast Hunters Soundwave. Let's just bring in the whole family, you know. You know, you know what it is. Um, Soundwave. That's the only one I really use as a non-custom he just stands as Soundwave because he's just so freaking awesome just awesome awesome i like this because he's the most plain out of everybody so he's like the most sure accurate so so alita one uh she has a video Bring it back smoke screen let's focus back on magnus now Hasbro gave us this. This is the Forge of Solus Prime. And it's very tiny. Very tiny. There's a lot of nice detail on it. But it's very tiny. And I don't like that. So what did I do? I put this over there. And I made this. A Forge of Solus Prime. And it's very big and happy. Here's it is next to Magnus. It's very big. See, it's almost his height. It's very big, and it's sturdy. How I made? How, let me just tell you how I made this, so you can make it at home. It's very simple. These two on the end, if you can see my hands, can you? Yeah, you can see. These two on the ends, these are Sobe caps. Uh, Sobe power drink. Uh, it's, it's a good drink. These two on the ends that I'm touching with my fingers, these are Sobe caps. The inside here, these are gallon milk jug caps. Uh, these here, these are Elmer's glue stick caps. They're like orange small caps. And this is either a Coke cap or a Sprite cap. Either cap would work because all you have to do is take some styrene and put it on the other side so that the other side is solid and there's no hole or anything. And then for the handle, which as you can see the paint's peeling off, I'm out of paint thinner, so I have to uh, get some more paint thinner. Um, excuse me. Um, this is a paintbrush. Originally a paintbrush. I cut off the bristles, of course, but uh, originally I just glued this onto the side like this, but uh, it got loose, especially when you started whacking it with things. But originally, then I cut a hole in it and stuck it in there with some glue on the inside, so it's really sturdy. He can hold it like that, and that looks cool. That looks awesome. That right there looks awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh my gosh. This might sell this if anyone's interested. You know, whatever. Um, but. Again, this is very sturdy. In fact, let's test that theory. Come on, Magnus. This is a video. Stay. Let's bring in a victim. Victim, 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 victim. Ba ba ba. Victim. How sturdy is this hammer? Not a scratch. Not a scratch. Ha ha ha. Not a scratch. Sturdy hammer. There you go, Magnus. Hold your hammer. Hold your hammer. That. All in all, this is a very nice figure. I really do like this. I really do. Let's get his missile pods on here. I really do like this figure. I like the character. I like the toy. I like everything about this guy. He's selfless. I mean, here's uh, Dark of the Moon 
Optimus Prime and I just transform him so he looks a little weird. Let me position him. Straight him out. Come on. And believe it or not, these two are the same height. You guys thought he was small? He's small, okay? They are the same height, even with his shoulder pads. Yeah, the shoulder pads are the exception. We're talking about head-wise here. These guys are the same height. Believe it or not, I've measured them both. They are the same height. Now, about this jetpack. And let's focus on Optimus for a second. I know this is a Magnus video, but let's talk about Optimus for a second. When this figure came out, hang on, let me get a... Excuse me. When this figure came out, a lot of people were putting this guy down under the bus. And what they were saying is, oh my gosh, he's got solar panels, which I painted all over him. What's with the solar panels? And oh my gosh, he's like all legs and everything. <sighs> Guys. If you look at any picture of Movieverse Optimus Prime, he is all legs, okay? Optimus has always been all legs. All legs is Optimus, okay? Then they're blue and they're big. He's always had all legs. Now, people were also complaining because they only gave him fuel rockets. And that he doesn't have his wing pack. If you have this figure, you have a wing pack for Optimus Prime. How? Let's take this off of Magnus. Come on, come on. If you take this, and first extend these down like this. Straighten them out. You line this up like you did with Magnus. It doesn't tab in, it just sits there. You can kind of tuck these in to hold it in place. Like this. Get his arms out the way. Then you have a wing pack. And if you were to paint the wing pack in movie accurate colors, that is a worthy substitute. That works. It really does. I mean, it's like the jetpack was made for Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime, guys. That works right there. Oh, that works. Especially if he's like flying around. That looks, that, that, that works. That works for me. So. Optimus and Magnus. Hold the hem of the right wave. So, this is Beast Hunter's Ultra Magnus, and I'm going to leave Optimus there. <laughs> uh, man, awesome. Just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but with this, he's a 10 out of 10. I mean... What more can you ask for? I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> I'm just so happy. It just, it looks awesome. Just awesome. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, J Poozer Animations is now on Facebook, okay? So, if you're on Facebook a lot and you like to like pages, please like my page at facebook.com slash Animations. If you missed that, uh, it's going to be in the description box below. Uh, so, um, that's all there is to say. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more videos. Sh uh, you can share the video and also leave a comment as to what you think about my customs. This is Jay Poozer Animations, signing off. Until next time, thank you everyone for watching.